Look at us. What? Look at all this money. Look at all this cash, the success as we're podcasting in this giant freaking yeah. mansion. We got we got couches that come with microphones attached. Clout. It's pretty. It's pretty cray cray, if you ask me. Clout. <laughs> clout. 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 <laughs> not even chasing. <laughs> Don't need it. Already have it. Have Welcome clout. to the Bad Podcast. Hashtag no chasing. Welcome to 2019. I'm pouting about our clout. The year of smash and bird box. Is the clout something clout? we can tout? Colin, how are you doing? I uh, I am fine. I'm great. I'm I fantastic. I'm uh, here with my butt. Hurts. Yole and God Ferg man. Itchy butt. My no, my butt hurts because I worked out today. My butt itchy hurts. butt. Itchy bun. Itchy bun. No, my butt. My butt hurts. My butt. My butt. Hurts. Why is does itchy. your butt hurt? Tom? My butt hurts because I got fucked in the butt by a dude. Hi, Steve. I respect <laughs> your decision. It's 2019. <laughs> it's Thanks. 2019. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah, everyone can get fucked in the butt. It's 2019. Nope. Why am I not in that kitchen eating everything? Because you are working out and you're trying to get all skin men and, and good looking and shit. Skin men, you know, can. You're beautiful as you are, Steve, and I love it's, you. Because it's t- 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 20, 2019 and we're here to celebrate all the good tithings, y'all. What up? Uh, and that's all we can play. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What the fuck welcome, happened? Welcome to the people getting effed over. There's so many things that we could talk about. People getting effed <laughs> Yeah, we haven't done this in a long time. Oh, yeah. man. I don't know where to start. Um, Let's start. Where are you going? Politics or... Do you want to start with Soldier Boy? I kind of want to start with Soldier Boy. Why or, is he back on the or, everything? Or, 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 All right. What is happening? So, like, I was just chilling with, with, uh, like don't a, villain? with a friend. Like a villain? Okay. Don't at me. I'm chilling. Watching the Breakfast Club in the morning. Breakfast and Club. And we're like, oh, okay, well, Charlamagne's on. She's like, cool. Let's just watch it. Freaking Soldier Boy is on there saying that Drake stole his flow, that he was like one of the first rappers to really make his name on the internet, which is true, because he was on MySpace even before everyone else was really like establishing themselves as artists, and he got signed. And it's he was saying a lot of stuff that was hard to argue with, but at the same time, it was kind of messed up. Like, oh, Tyga, can you compare me to Tyga? The dude that lost his girl that Travis Scott nutted in. Whoa! <laughs> I love Travis Scott. Soldier Boy, I appreciate took, you, man. Beach. I love that nigga. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Why is the guy so vindictive? What the <laughs> fuck with him? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh boy, it was interesting. Yeah. And then uh, it's Yams Day because rest in peace to ASAP Yams that passed away not too long ago. I've so, never heard of that so man. So the ASAP mob had ASAP a day to celebrate him, and uh, ASAP Ferg brought out Soldier Boy. Oh, no. Soldier Boy was on Everyday Struggle, so it looks like 2019 might be the comeback of Soldier Boy Television. Is that what we're calling it? Might be. I mean, no. I, I feel like I feel like it's the desperation no. of Soldier Boy because he's not in the damn spotlight anymore. Because you, you know, how you kid. know, no. you know, how you know he's desperate is because he's calling out a bunch of rappers that like, like if you're calling out Tyga at this point, like how low are you? But then he's <laughs> that's my been, that's my thing. He's kind of been doing this for a while. It's a short video of him going back to the hood because he claims it's from Compton. That he's like a Compton blood, so bumped in. And so like there's a video of him walking down the street and like he tried to put his arm around someone. The guy's like, get the fuck off me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is I think that was back in 2015. So like this dude's been like where has been he been though? What is plotting. he? Was he on like Love and Hip Hop for a little bit or some shit? Was he on that? Something like I don't know. He was on some the reality, reality show. show. He was, on, reality. He was yeah. on a few things. He was on a few things. But yeah. um, our memory of him was uh, you. pretty, so, uh, pretty boy. What the fuck? I just had the song in my head. Soldier boy, tell him. Uh, pretty boy swag. That interesting oh, that's song. right. Yeah, turn this my swag on right here. Is I forgot what that song too. That Did song he do that one? the swag. I tell Ooh, my I swag on, I tell the world my story, <laughs> and then they come around. That one was swag light. On. I don't even remember I mean, that I shit. I mean, yeah, I don't know what it is, but it sounds Speakers like him. Speakers going hammer. Wow, he had a lot more songs than I realized. I just remember that people were doing the whole thing where you're, you were doing that, what? or you what? would do this. You'd go like this on your shoes, and be like, "All right, turn my swag on." Oh no. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah, you did do that. That was did absolutely. I, but you did it ironically. You didn't actually mean it. Look at that face. Oh yeah, I know I didn't mean it. But yeah, he meant it. Yeah. He meant it. He meant it. No. Look at that face. Dude, you don't I love, just turn my swag on. I love getting one K checks in the mail. I'm loving. Oh, oh damn, Steve making that good money. You didn't even say what you thought about the movie. Oh, um, you said it's an experience for generations foretold. Yes. Wow, that's okay. That is some <laughs> cryptic ass shit. That means nothing. That means Andrew a lot of things. Will fuck no, it doesn't. One of the one of the things that I really enjoy about that movie is is watching a meme of it 
and seeing <laughs> uh, Kevin Durant. I think it was Kevin Durant skipping out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he was like mega out of bounds. Yeah, and then the ref is in the corner with uh, Sarah, uh, Sandra Bullock's face from Bird Box. Yeah. They're just <laughs> like <laughs> blindfolded. It's like, right. awesome. it was the funniest it's, shit. It's so true. And the, re- the refs are really messing up as a whole. But Bird Box, I liked it actually. I It wasn't like the best movie for like ever. It was, yeah. it was solid though. It was Netflix. I mean, yeah. It was Netflix. Think... There's a lot of cultural ref- relevance. And what do you think the... The, uh, I don't think, I don't know. Wait, how is it culturally <laughs> irrelevant? What do you think it actually Fucking locked eyes with me. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to say anything. Uh, I want to know if uh, you know what it means. What Sandra it really Bullock means. Sandra fucked a black guy in the movie? Uh, oh, yeah. She fucked the shit baby. out of that black guy. Wait for us, baby. The guy is, that, is, that, is that like a crew? Like a, a, a people who just wait for Sandra Bullock to you gotta go fuck a black guy? <laughs> Um, go I where? <laughs> interracial sometimes. Oh, uh, the, the BPWWSBC. Yeah, yeah. Black, black people who want to fuck Sandra Bullock Club. What? Yeah. <laughs> fight? Did you say fight? They suck. Oh, uh, fucking suck. She's, well, that's she a looks fetish. Like this type of mean woman just suck, suck by clit. I think the best thing about Bird Box <laughs> is that it it was more intense, like intense, especially than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's just me and my other siblings. And the whole I'm surprised room. you watched that movie. Well, what else are you gonna do when it's fucking one o'clock in the morning? But it's technically ten o'clock in the in the morning here. And so all of a sudden, it just popped up. I was like, let's fucking watch it because my siblings didn't want to watch Black Mirror because I think they get kind of creeped out by it. So Bander I was stupid. That shit, yeah. That's so <laughs> I was like, fine, fuck it. Can we watch Bird Box? It's new. It looks cool. Bird Box. And it threw me off. For a little bit, right, right at the beginning, it freaked me out. Do not take off your blindfold. Yeah, it's just because you're you will to die. Boy and I'm like, girl. fuck, little kid. Yeah, and boy, and girl, yeah. and boy Listen and girl. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, yeah. No, that was probably no. the funniest. That actually did shit kind of made me laugh. Yeah, just, just the boy, dis- girl, disconnect boy, girl. any sort of emotion whatsoever. Yeah. Between, uh, oh, I get. Uh, no, I get it's it. It's crazy. just, it's just funny. Cause... But then, like, just like, it's just I never seen her that mean. I think. <laughs> So oh yeah, she's maybe. always quirky and funny and yeah. weird and momish and weird. But I think I think I t- I still call him about one of my favorite scenes that just made me laugh is when they're going to the store and it's just like a group of them like <laughs> trying to yeah. search for the yeah. world. Yeah, they're all just kind of yeah, just like what the hell was that? Oh, what was that? It was just the pillar. It's the a door. pillar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just because you can imagine like being the film crew yeah. there, and it's just He's like if you take yourself out of the movie and you just objectively look at what's going on He's and just dumb asses. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is happening? The director said that they actually had to do everything blindfolded, so they were eating shit. They were like just running into things, getting scratched up all the time, just yeah, trying to like, emulate that. Oh, I can't tell where I'm going, but I have this thin rope. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I wonder if they had someone on set to just yell out directions for all of them. I mean, le- left. No, no, you're left. <laughs> right. No, no, not right. Left. I'm like, oh correct. God. Yeah, I, I would imagine. Maybe they got like some noise that would like that they could be drawn to, so they would go in the right direction or, or something like that. Them, yeah, like something car, like that. Just like, be careful, be wary of hitting something on the side. So it's yeah, like, it's a line of superpowers. Y'all doing anything fun for this weekend or President's Day weekend? Oh, is it President's Day? I don't know, man. I don't go to school anymore, so it's just fucking... Every day is a goddamn weekend for me, so I, I don't know. I mean, I got more... I was doing videos. I you don't have anything say, you want to do. I thought you were going to say... I'm going to work. work. anything you want to do to celebrate Martin Pres- Lanker. <laughs> Martin Lanker. Martin Lanker. The great Martin Lanker. <laughs> Martha Lewis. I, I one time had a daydream that today was the day that all of us all went to the same store. And we were lanked. <laughs> we were we late. Would you say we were late? Linked. We were linked. We yeah, because Martin line, Lanker Day. Just, just judging each other in these long lines, small <laughs> talk. Like, what are you gonna do for the Super Bowl? The impulse buys aren't even that good, and damn it, I want better impulse buys. Fucking impulse buys. Hershey's like, sucks. Bag of tuna. I keep seeing when we go to buy alcohol at the store we go to. This is like a, uh, a bag of tuna that you can buy that you're supposed to just eat with a fork. It's just left oh out. yeah, yeah! It's it was, really it's, delicious. No, you don't. You, you don't. You put that it. shit no. in the fridge. No. No. That's gross. No, no. <laughs> it sounds like one of those little tiny onions that you put on the side. You have a little bag of tuna and a little bag of onions, just well, like you eat. While I you heard drink. cans of tuna. You, you, you drink your not an appetizer. Your, no, yeah. Well, no, they have like little onions for um, for martinis and stuff like that. Uh huh. So I think it sounds like one of those little things where it's like a little like. 
Garnish oh, for your drink. oh. Garnish. An hors d'oeuvre. I, I got my caviar, and my yeah. tuna bag, and my onions. Would you eat a tuna margarita? Um, fuck no. Oh, that, that's a lawful. <laughs> What do you mean? It's I need a lot. A, margaritas. Oh, it margaritas be, are fine. I need a salmon. Chunky. I'll eat a salmon margarita. Ew. We don't need anything fish in a cup. Guys, that's guys, a, that's, a, that's where I draw the line. This, I'm keeping this in mind for future punishments, also. No. Uh, it's a fishy ass, all kind of fish ass in a cup. <laughs> it's gross. It has to be chunky because it'd be kind of hard just to whittle it down to liquid oh, steak. Please fucking stop. I just, I just <laughs> like my clams. You had clams. <laughs> You've had clams. Yeah. <laughs> Jari fucking looked at the cam- clam is vergina. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> so I says like my go- muscles. Uh, that's gay. You're gonna eat no, rich not. That's gay. That's no, not. What is the clams like the vagina and the muscles? No, muscles are muscles. Women don't have muscles, that's a fact. Like, it is a muscle. It's though. just estrogen just vagina, running through the skin. A vagina like is a that. muscle. <laughs> that's it. Oh, stop it. Ew. Like Steve yeah. says he's going to New York City on President's Day weekend to eat with rich Jewish people. New York, New York. What Jewish part of the New York eat? are you going? You're going to walk down the street and say, hey, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm Jewish my here. Watermelon? Oh, watch hey. Watch is that a New York Look, accent or a Jewish <laughs> accent? I, I don't know. Is no, it one, New York, no. Is it New York accent? The Jew, a Jewish no, a, a Jewish accent, accent, accent like this, Bobby. You see, oh, I'm from What's New the, York. You got a Brooklyn accent. Well, because so because because that will you're kind of doing like a like a mobster fucking stereo. You're like, oh, I'm fucking walking yeah, in. That's how everybody yeah. talks in New York. Yeah, you so, think but, I'm funny? But, you think I'm funny? Do I amuse you? <laughs> it's, it's, so funny. So it's just raining out here. <laughs> oh yeah. What's so funny? <laughs> Why do you think I'm funny? Do I just I watched that you? movie the other day, actually. For the that's first a great. Time. A Goodfellas is a I great movie. I just watched that for the first time. It's really good, isn't it? Fuck. It's a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. I was very surprised. What other like content of tv or film or stage play have you seen that like it came out a long time ago oh i literally was talking about i saw unbreakable ghostbusters probably the Indiana all girl Jones. one oh that's not old <laughs> that well came be. out like three years ago for how Wait. much everyone shit on it might Wait, as which well movie? be which <laughs> the, movie? the one the with girl ghostbusters. yeah the one with melissa mccarthy and oh, then other people yeah, Kristen yeah. wig and and what's her name what's the f- yeah the girl from snl katie I'm, Kate. Kate McKinnon. Yeah, McKinnon. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, she's funny. It's she's like, weird. wow, I'm oddly attracted to she's her. She's funny and weird. You saw Spider-Man? Which Spider- Did you see the, the Into the Spider-Verse? I still need to see that. Oh, yeah. That shit's grossing so much money. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. Big ball it's nasty. Oh, big ball of words. Wig. Everybody knows what's gross. Do you big, know the big, difference? Big hair standing do you know rich the, man. Do you know the difference between gross and, and, and net? Fishing net? No, what's the difference? I guess. Tell me, explain it like I'm five. I really don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, I was going to look it up the other if day. If I remember, gross is what I was what asking is, a real question. I, oh. I, remember, I think, if I remember correctly, gross is what you make in total, but net is what you actually acquire as a company because you have to account for paying everybody. Oh, and, like l- loss and... Yeah, kind of. Well, it's like, like I think there's like a total sum in gross, like like including how much money the something made overall. But then like that doesn't include like taxes or paying people and stuff like that. So oh. then you minus that, and then I think you gain a net. I think I net. could be fucking wrong. It might be backwards. Net. See, it pays off to be gross in the movie industry. <laughs> ah, it's ah, so ah, good. What's ah, what was what was you your have some gross? What was what do you like about it? Kiff. Without what's spoilers, the, what's the grossest thing um, you've ever seen. The grossest thing I've ever seen? Oh, uh, killing a fly, uh, then coming back two days later, because they killed it like right in the windowsill. <laughs> Opened it, just like maggots crawling out of it. Uh, That's why I learned the hard It's pretty nasty. <laughs> That's pretty gross. With, oh, fuck. I think, well, your, the, th- the first thing that pops up is your story about how there was like, it was that Dark Souls episode where you had to kill a rat and then the rat was like dead for a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that the trash can. It was in the trash can, and uh, were there maggots on it? There also, a, no ants just started crawling. I left That's it. it. I threw it in a trash can. Four hours later, I went to go check on it for some reason. And <laughs> I'll see what that rat's doing. <laughs> yeah, see <it's> still chat. <laughs> it's just it was still kicking <laughs> in the trash can. Made a family or something. Anyways, the ants just like <laughs> crawled all up in it and started like devouring it. Ugh. That's gross. That's probably the grossest. I I, thing. I can't think of anything like gross. Off the top of my head that I've seen in person, it's probably not. It'd be something like normal ass shit. Is like one of the grossest thing I've ever seen was when I was living here. I think it was Kobe. Kobe had thrown up and then like ate it up. <laughs> oh, that happens all the time. Yeah, dogs. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it was. All it was time. like the pebble. It was like the pebble food. So like it wasn't even like digested yet. 
It was like half digested. <laughs> so like it was just like you can see the lumps in there. Oh. It looked like it looked like like Reese's what's that cereal called? Reese's snap Puffs? crackle pop. A rice you know, kind of looks like it has Reese's, pu- Reese's puffs? No, no, snap crackle. What's rice rice Reese's? 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 Yeah. yeah, with the, the snap, snap crackle, crackle pop. pop. <laughs> the incest family. <laughs> snap crackle pop. You think they're all brothers. You think they all fuck each other? I didn't say it. That's what, what you fuck? said. <laughs> you, impl- you implied it. I did not say it. I heard the word incest. Snap crackle pop. They that ass. Incest over incense. I, I do have a. I did read a gross thing on Reddit, and I could imagine it. Apparently, there was like, like was somebody, somebody's dog. No, no, no. Somebody's no. Wait, I know in? what you mean. No, let's not. We he'll explain that who one. Came in what? Dog? It's awful. Just like dogs. It's, Coco dogs. No, it's awful. We'll talk about that a little later. Uh, okay, so there was there was somebody who was really worried that their dog was sick, and the dog just kept throwing up and was just being kind of weird. And then at one point, the dog puked out. <laughs> He puked out an entire skeleton of a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> what? I shit you like fur and like a whole nine. Jeez, yeah. like a weird reverse snake. <laughs> it's like, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel better. Oh god. Oh yeah, the dog apparently was okay, but apparently it was like very close to dying. Which I mean, if you eat a whole fucking squirrel yeah, and apparently I mean, not chew it. That's just dogs. I don't know. I might be at that point where I want to go. Like, if I move out, might not get a dog. I need like a good two, three years away. Just mm-hmm. fucking Would been out the cat? country for like two weeks. Maybe a cat, since they're just dicks to sustain themselves. Yeah. You want a bird that won't shut up? I want a gray parrot, an African gray parrot. Descriptive, but then at the same time, I thought about it. I was like, You're loud. I've only been back for two weeks. It was raining. A pup's Rocky was like scratching my door at six o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, bro, what do you want? And he's like, I'm, I'm cool, whatever. I'm cool. Go downstairs more of some oatmeal. Just shits in the, like the entryway. Just dookies. I shat everywhere. Brown and white poop. I'm like, come on. Like, I literally left the side door open. Your ass didn't want to <laughs> go and dry, like, slash wet water grass to poop. I turn my back for 30 seconds. Just poopy. Just dookie. Hmm. Just dookie. I'm like, oh, Love I miss you. this. I miss this. That's why I won't have kids. Yeah, so it's just shit. I have a story where I was like three or four, maybe probably three, because I probably was not wearing a diaper or four, but I was like three. And uh, I was playing video games, and I decided to just shit in my pants. And then I took <laughs> off my diaper and just left it in the middle of the floor and then walked away. Sophisticated. Yep. Sophisticated. <laughs> you damn right. You know what? I'm I sure a lot of people. Don't shit. <laughs> that's my, I don't touch my, that's my own intro shit. story on dates. It's probably don't many people. <laughs> There's probably many grown gamers that have the exact same tale as you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Fergie would. I absolutely. Yeah. I kind of. It's really not that far removed. I feel that it's something I would do. I can be pretty lazy when I think about it. So I. I, I mean. I don't flush my own shit. Uh, yeah. You flush my shit. I've done that, not on purpose though. Have you ever done that where you just forget to flush and then you just come back and you're like, oh fuck, I didn't flush this shit. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. Especially when you have like a really terrible poop. Oh yeah, I've done that. So it's like so focused on wiping, I like forgot. I have a different answer for the most disgusting thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm what? serious. Like, oh, great. That was great. <laughs> Woo! That, happened. that happened to me when I was like first grade. I was like, huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think it's the wrong order? <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> oh, that's awful. That was such a terrible experimental like moment for me. Cause I remember that and I remember like experimenting with not wiping your ass. No. <laughs> that and like eating on the toilet also. Oh, I, took, no. like, I have what I, you I, I, like a cheeseburger to the toilet. You eat with your left hand and wipe with your no, right. No, I was eating while shitting because I want to see if it will flow while I'm pooping. <laughs> <laughs> so, before before like, anything, yeah, I started taking bites of a big double. Like, now I was like, this doesn't feel any different. Just had a, oh like, my a God. burger with the spell poop. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I just have a really bad image of you like taking a bite and wiping and then no, just like no, no, and then switching hands just like oh shit oh, yeah, yeah, multitasking but that would ruin the purpose like why would I want to get it all out and then wipe I want to yeah, poop yeah, see if it paper. adds on oh, man. It's an additive Redu- poop reduce reuse recycle exactly. <laughs> no but he no but he's... yeah exactly I can just shit then instead of eating later they have to poop later I can eat whilst pooping and then get it all out then. <laughs> It's like drinking and peeing. I tried that also. I'm like, I want to see if I can get more pee and drink water at the same time. 
That I don't think that's how that works. It does not work either. No, I don't think that's how that works. The body is I'm tricky. so happy that the human body doesn't do that and it takes time to digest that. You know how many stories we'd hear about people what? It was like <laughs> drinking <laughs> water and peeing at the same time? Wanna finish my drink? Get his, his book of get his book of roll records. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has been peeing for nine months. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> Jug of water just with it. <laughs> Look how far I can stand. I connected back. a tube. Oh, especially if it worked with like poop too. You, there'd be some dude who just ordered like a shit ton of stuff from fast food. Oh just like God. saw like you could eat like a day's worth, and he's just sat. He's like, man, sits on toilet for a whole day eating McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, God, that is the worst. A million dollars, but you can't decide when you poop. <laughs> It's yes. like it's either yes. it, it's either immediately right after or like five minutes after. Yes. Or not for two days. A no million way. dollars could buy me new pants. Definitely. I'll lock myself in a hut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go anyway. That's the I got a million dollars. I'm ready. Shit. Yeah, that's true. That's my Good. problem with the lottery. Because I jokingly say, ha ha, drug binge, never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm the like, cocaine. I'm a little I'm like sixty percent serious. If I win like a hundred million dollars, you're never fucking seeing me again. <laughs> like, I love you all dearly, but I'm disappearing. That's <laughs> I run out of money. <laughs> hey, share that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll give you guys like two million each, and it's like ghost. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'm down. <laughs> Let's do it. No, we'll say like, here's like my like longitude, latitude. If you could find me, try. <laughs> but I'm gone. <laughs> Some Shawshank Redemption <laughs> shit. <laughs> find the tree. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be carving a boat on the beach in Mexico. <laughs> Just high as fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Steve, what's the grossest thing you've ever done? And what else would you do for a million dollars? Um, I've asked I actually asked my parents the question of what they would do for a million dollars. And we got on the topic of like doing gay shit. And I'm pretty sure most people do it. Because that's that's the my that was my argument. I was like, I'm pretty sure the reason people are like, nah, I wouldn't do it. Because the money's not there. Yeah, exactly. If you saw right, the right. million dollars right there. And somebody whips out their wang. Or just like, like why is it limited to gay shit? Doesn't have to yeah, be. I'm just like, saying that like most oh people will be like, God. it could be anything. But oh, like it could yeah. be like a crazy thing you do or like kill well not kill somebody. I don't think oh, I'd God, do that. I hope not. But like you kill would do somebody gay shit or just <laughs> <laughs> Or all three. Two choices. Million dollars, <laughs> but fucking gay dude to kill him right now. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> How fast could you go? <laughs> <laughs> but oh, like you can get away with it. <laughs> but like like do some like unbelievably crazy almost die shit or like anything that that you would never like you think in your head i would never fucking do for a million dollars like i think the only reason people would never do it is because the money's not there so that's easy oh. for them to be like nah i agree if i was at starbucks and the manager there she or he is like just pulls her pants out she's like eat this ass i'm like fuck it it's ten thousand dollars <laughs> why well, is I it starbucks more, i don't know <laughs> i've gotten more money out of it but like starbucks. it started at ten thousand so that's like you probably get bad sentence. You probably get a good blow job for like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be the only guy who's trying to try bargain, trying to up the ante. You try to up like it. that, yeah. No, no, I'm sucking Come that on. dick for five, five thousand more. Five thousand more. Come on, I know you could do it. <laughs> I don't know what's the price to pay to lick ass. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, if they clean it. Yeah. See, that's that's. That's the the turn off in a lot of adult videos of a girl just like this it goes for the asshole. Yeah, I, I, I've seen so that. I'm, I'm like, no, bad. dude. You don't know where my asshole's mm, been. Mm, mm. See, if it was a girl's asshole, that's fine. But a girl licking my asshole, nah. See, it's that's the, the same problem. shit. No. I gotta get that out of my head. That girls don't poop or maintain <laughs> asshole. They do. They maintain their. They maintain their asshole more than guys do. I'm pretty sure. I think because we just don't assume girls gonna be eating the stuff and make the butthole. Yeah, <laughs> like, guys. you would think. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, you don't I know. Feel like, I feel like it's the same thing. They just shit and they wipe, just like guys. Mm -hmm. I don't think they like take out like ten. Bleach well, they might bleach their. Yeah, I don't know. They, they take out like ten wipes and like perfectly, you know. Well, I hear about guys asshole. wiping until they bleed. So that's one thing. <laughs> you know, it takes blood. But like, I don't see her. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm thinking of her like having a mirror, just like making sure every crevice is clean with the best you, you know, sparkly, do, you know, no doo doo on on that shit. You do, stick a bottle up your ass and squirt it. Okay. And oh, an oh, yeah, off. douche yeah, yourself. The best you can do is enema. Yeah. Who do you love that much that you can do it? You know what's underrated? Wipes. 
Oh, yeah, like baby wipes. wipes. Baby wipes. Oh, those so are the. Great. I was literally going to talk about it. that. Never try it. Oh, it's good. Toilet paper can go suck a dick. So I can yeah. just like. <laughs> it's too bad. It's so expensive. Yeah, it's too much. That's the thing is, it's exp- It's like it's like ten, fifteen bucks for a fucking like canister, of, like that Clorox, like wipe your shit. The Lysol. The yeah. Lysol wipes. It could be those or I baby you, ones. I tell you, if I won a hundred million dollars, every one of my houses will have baby wipes. That's <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> totally with. I'm so on board with that. <laughs> Rolls of toilet paper, no just toilet. canisters. Of- Hell <laughs> yeah! Yep. You gotta, dude. You don't. You gotta try it. You'll be like, why did I ever go back? Why did I ever Fuck toilet the paper? I got, dumb. I got wipes. Aren't they like wet? It's soft. Well, because then it gets more of it. Because it, yeah, it's wet, so it gets soft, more of the wet. shit, so and it's it soft. Like, so don't you just walk away with a wet crack. Not really. It kind of because it's like that, like sort of wet. Sanitize. Yeah, drip dry like girls do. <laughs> <laughs> no. Walk See, he's that I second the wife. I'm yeah. telling you, it's it, dude. It's it's the fucking it's the strat. Oh my god. It's a it's the any percent strat for you wiping your butt. Of, walk out of the bathroom like a I'm not trying to wipe my ass all dry. <laughs> if you need to, there you go. Well, well, Without well, bleeding. You take the wipe. Enough so it's not like dookie on my head. Are you like a three-stroker like or like a, three like a four or five-stroker? enough that there's not it, poop on the wipe. Do you like wipe. fold it in triangles or like, you know, like just like I, make it like a little book? I do like the weird glove thing. You take, you take the thing around around so it's like a weird boxing glove. Then you fold it like a book like you're done with it for the day yeah. and you wipe your butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we'll were right. you like the same paper. You do like three little squares. Oh, and you know, roll well, because you know, like because you learn the hard way. You're like it's about if you don't do enough, like your finger poster before it, like you, yes. like molest yeah. yourself. Like oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> and, well. Then there's the like you do the too much. Like well, can't even get in my ass. Yeah. So <laughs> and see, right now I'm at like the nail capacity where if I wipe, I could. I, I'm in danger. Like I'm, I'm, I'm playing with right fire. You get a Pillsbury Doughboy or butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over how accurate Eloy's fucking description. <laughs> like Everybody so fucking true. does it. Absolutely, because you're saving it. Like, so yeah. you get enough, yeah. and then you wipe one side, and you fold it, and then you wipe again, and you fold it. And you're you really save about room. It. You're not really trying to save toilet paper because you're already both pulling like five or six strands to begin with. You're, you're just trying save, to make the most of it. it. You're saving it so you, you don't have the shit touch your fingers. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's really. Right. You want to wipe yeah, too hard much. and break the paper. <laughs> that's why one ply is the, the worst. <laughs> that's why anytime I go to a public restroom and I just see one ply, I'm like, I'm pulling half this motherfucker oh, out. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Because oh, it's man. like, I've done it when it's just there and you're like, this is just my hand wiping my ass. Like, yeah, it's just not really even is. there. It's not much protection. No. Treat public restrooms like hotel rooms. Like anything goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. missed the seat. Sorry. Yo, fucking traveling wise. Oh, there's not enough time to talk about that. But like this, the United States, America, we're doing it wrong for how we're assuming how big people are and like how much room they need. The to buy both the hotel room and the black the like, airplane restrooms. There's just so much room. I'm talking like. From here to damn near here and top to bottom. So there's no cracks. Whoa. Even the toilets are big enough. Like, I was like, I might damn near sit on this toilet for how pristine this shit looks <laughs> in a public restroom. I would never. You're not I went four years in down. A, four years at the, our high school and never pooped. Ever. Same. Ever. Never. I did on many occasions. I never did. No, I would never touch that shit. You have to, to levitate. Poop. I had to poop. It was just like, you know, and then like go to Nigeria, fucking back to small toys and shit. I'm like Dubai, they just get it right, and the people aren't even that big. No, nope. you come back here, like people can like, oh, it's just, it's a stall taking, like picking a few cracks and shit like that. <laughs> like, damn you, seriously, like, though. you can see your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the ones I've been in in restrooms, like public restrooms, where like the where like the leg room, like sometimes, like no. I've been in ones where it goes all the way down. And I love those ones, but then there's the ones where it's like. For some reason, they stop right where your knees would be, and you're yeah. like, "What the fuck?" Like, I feel like exposed here. Some no. restroom stalls, you don't have enough room to shut the door. You're like squeezing through, trying to shut it, so your seriously like doesn't touch the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you just try to squeeze through and shut it. They try to fit like six six stalls inside a small bathroom. Right? <laughs> when it can really like fit three to be perfect. Well, but then, you know, but see, then there'd be more lines. Which you know, you've dealt with like at sporting events, especially like fuck. Oh no no no! I don't want any of that. Yeah. Oh. Unless it's like a bro. sporting event or some kind of festival. I mean, there aren't really long lines for a guy's bathroom. No, well, because the guys usually have to piss and it's really quick. Go outside. Except the, <laughs> the thing with public restrooms in that situation is that like it's a gamble 
on like who's actually like what their manners are. Like I've been oh. at restrooms where dudes are like fucking just like here I'm aiming, uh, like and they're just like oh you're my my dick's just here. Yeah, what's up, bro? I can't tell you how many times where I'm at, at work and I'm in the bathroom and I hear the like and they're finishing up and they I'm like please wash your hands. Please wash your hands. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And they don't wash their hands. Yeah. Oh, so nasty. Past you. oh, that's they just disgusting. Walk, nasty. Like you're not even there. Yeah, you know what the like, worst bathroom was? What? Costco. Oh, I haven't Costco been. was Costco's was just y'all gotta do better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Is, Don't be sorry. Be is, better. That is unforgivable. <laughs> the smell, like, like fuck. And I, would, <laughs> and I would think I would think Costco's have good bathrooms. Ugh. Oh, can oh. We, oh, can we go to a different topic? I'm starting to get Yeah, we've been talking out. about shit and yeah. piss and throw up. <laughs> oh, and a lot of stuff. I like to have a story. Okay. I was gonna take this to the grave. Oh, the coconut one? My first Oh, this is oh, the first Dookie story of the 2019. Oh, no. So on the subject of toilets being a little too small, mm -hmm. Toke Alert slash Chester was like, hey, I'm in this hotel room. Still want to just levitate. I don't want to put my ass on anything yet. I want to put toilet paper down either. Uh, so I overshot it, so to speak. <laughs> Is and, the uh, lid? Fresh from airplane food and trying to sustain myself for 23 hours of flying. So to speak, this is the second night also. So let's say this is the toilet. Okay. You no, know, this is the inside, blah, 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 the back rim. Yep. Thought I was right here. Apparently I was shot over there. No. So it didn't even go anywhere inside. <laughs> it went all the way to the fucking back. It was diarrhea damn near. It just <laughs> ripped down. <laughs> So I was like, and my sister were out of the room. We're sharing the room. So I'm like, I got like 10 minutes to think fast. So <laughs> I tried to just, I took a card. Oh, Lord. I tried to just swipe it into the bowl. Didn't work. It was just, so I just had to take a water bottle and start splashing it. So it was going down behind the toilet oh, also. Oh, no. So I was like, they came back. I was like, the toilet overflowed. <laughs> and a guy. Smart and, thinking. And a guy, I tried to push everything to the back with a fucking towel. Three towels. And they hear the service guy go into the bathroom and go, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my. Oh my. He's like, dear Jesus just, Christ. Yeah, the back of the toilet, the floor of the toilet just stained with oh, shit. Oh, Togi. Yep. Oh, my God. 2019. What do you do? No, it's 2018. Wow. No, it's 2018. So, Happy yeah. New Year. No, it's 2018. Or almost. So perfect. So, like, oh, sorry, just made your life. Just the worst. Oh, that's, oh, dude, that is a job. <laughs> I don't know. just never. I don't know, man. I missed. I think. I, <laughs> Like, I don't know, dude. I think, like, if I had a choice between being on the streets and, and doing a janitorial job, that's a, that's a toss-up. Mm. <laughs> that's a, that's a toss-up. Yeah, you got to see some stuff. Yeah. Both ways. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, it's better than living on the street and being all starved and shit, so. Then some guy, like, hey, I shit on the floor. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, the toilet yeah. overflowed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the thing, is you, you know that dude knew. Because he's seen everything. There's no way he didn't know. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. He's like, this is not a toilet. This dude <laughs> shit in the back of the toilet. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> it was, it's in that place, too. Because, like, my sisters, especially the second oldest, they will not let you live anything down. <laughs> and I'm talking, like, shit's happened from, like, 2004. That still gets brought up. Oh. So I was like, I can't. I was like, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll never let this one down. I have, to, I have to make it look like the toilet overflowed. <laughs> so mix this just throw it in the fucking <laughs> I'm just imagining that scene from Dr. Dulo where that is some kid like shits in the bathroom. Oh, daddy daycare. That's daddy daycare, yeah. Oh, it's just, oh, like, oh, yeah, oh, imagine oh. that but like dried up dookie. Oh. <laughs> this is awful. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna take you to the gun range. No. So you can work on your aim. <laughs> Wanna talk Smash Ultimate or play Smash Ultimate? Uh well we could uh are we are we Both. Well so well hold on. No, this has this gotta be another topic. We, we yeah, let's not talk we, about we, shit we, the whole time. We didn't even discuss <laughs> let's not shoot the shit. We didn't even discuss the Soldier Boy made a game console. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he did. Sued for it. Well, yeah, he did. Well, he well that's a copyright ass motherfucker. That's the first thing that got him so up there. That news of him making this make console. It, oh, it wasn't. It's not good. But yeah, it's it was bad. A, it was a sure. Nintendo emulator, and they shut that shit down. Oh yeah, it was a Nintendo. Emulator. Yeah, yeah. Because they redirected from Soldier Boy, tell him Nintendo, to just straight up Nintendo.com. <laughs> <laughs> Dude didn't even try. <laughs> yeah, just redirected because they're like, yeah, no, 
Sorry, bro. <laughs> I saw something on uh, Twitter today, and I was they were talking about how what if Apple makes a game console? Oh yeah, they were they were thinking they were talking about them merging with Nintendo. Oh, yeah, geez. yeah, which That's I would funny. hate. Really? Why? Oh, cause, hey cause, Siri, Nintendo me. Oh, uh, I don't even know what that means, but I don't like it. Hey Siri, you want to play Smash? <laughs> hey no, Siri, no, you bitch ass noob. Nintendo, Sakurai. Uh, I mean, it, Xbox merged with Microsoft, right? No, they made my they made Xbox. Oh. They didn't merge. Oh. No, they they made it. But the thing with Apple is like. The way they make their money, they even admitted it, is just sort of like making a bunch of new shit, but then it's not all that new. It's just sort of a repetitive cycle of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And Nintendo's perfect. all about like innovation. That's why like the Switch is pretty cool. Like no one's ever seen shit like that, or like yeah. the Labo. So it's like I feel like they would just mainstream everything, and then they would start to just repeat the same crap mm-hmm. over. I could be wrong. I mean, if they give them creative control, great. But I don't know. I'd rather I'd rather just know. not have it. Yeah. If I could, if I could not have it, rather than create their own device than to merge with Apple, yeah, yeah, but I, it'd be perfect or, because yeah. people are like, these console cycles are taking too long, dude. We'd have what? so many Apple consoles, Nintendo consoles. Oh yeah, they come so out every year. year and I'm a half so gaps. scared to do for them to do another PS5 or something like that. Oh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna probably be announced this year at E3. <sighs> Come out twenty twenty. I just got my PS4 Pro. Uh, you Fuck might them. you might be able to trade yours in for like some extra money, and then we get buy a PS5 if you want. But this is it. so it don't. Takes but don't. Time, though. But don't. Fr- I'm so attached to it because like the first thing that like a lot of people jumped on the PS4 was like Bloodborne. That was like the best, and that and one came like, out like like a year, or six months yeah. after, or something like that. Wow. Yeah. That to come out. Yeah, ki- like Killzone, which was a launch title. People mm-hmm. don't like that game. For oh, the PS4, if people don't. Yeah, I actually like that game. Yeah. People, I've I've heard everyone was like, Killzone was a launch title, and I'm like, what the yeah, fuck does that mean? All motherfuckers yeah. were streaming and playing it yeah. as soon as it came out. And um, Knack was Knack is not. There's Knack. Yeah, Knack so, was a launch yeah. title. I don't know, Knack. It's Knack is, exact. You so it's launch to. title like uh, like with Nintendo Switch. It was uh, um, Breath the of the Mario. Wild. Oh, okay, not the other, not Mario. No, Mario Odyssey Mario came out okay. later that year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mario Kart was there too, but Mario Kart was basically a port. So. Mm-hmm. So Breath of the Wild was a launch. Shot. Breath of Breath of the Wild was different though, because they they obviously had been planning that for a long time. Yeah, and, still, and that game was great con- because of the new console. It's mm-hmm. technically like a launch title. It, oh, it is, but, but it comes out along a new console. Uh, okay. But the thing with Nintendo is they because of the properties of what they have, like Zelda and Mario, it's pretty easy for them to do like a launch title like that, and it's gonna be fine. Like like on the GameCube, like one of the launch titles was Luigi's Mansion, and then in uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. So uh, like. Yeah, it's it's just because they have that. It's a lot different than like PlayStation, where it's like they don't have any like like a ton of mascot stuff. So it's like okay, we just got to come out with this game that's like basically like a tech demo. We need to like Evergrace, show what it looks like. The bouncer, Evergrace. Yeah. Um. God, Lair for PS3. Oh Jesus! So yeah, now that's a launch title. Yeah, that's a launch title. That game's not too bad, but the thing is, is like the PlayStation Three had motion controls. Mm-hmm. Oh, with the controller, so you would like tilt it, and then it would do stuff. The layer was only motion controls, so Terrible. the game was not fun. Terrible. Yeah, so, you hear like in the GameStop ads, like, "Oh, get the PS5 and get the sick launch title, Gran Turismo my asshole 4. Yep, <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah, it's it depends. So I would say honestly, you'll be fine. And and even other game like journalists and stuff have said like the PS4 is like at its peak, and they're making these crazy great looking games like mm-hmm. like Red Dead or God of yeah. War and stuff, where it's like. Like, we really don't need a PlayStation 5, and honestly, I bet Sony hopefully even knows that, and they'll fucking make some games for PlayStation 4 and 5 for a while. Yeah. And like, that's low-key the best part of a new <clears throat> console coming out soon, when like, they start pushing it, because a lot of the great games will start coming to, like, PS Plus. Yeah, so, yeah, that's like, all true. all the games you, like, forgot about and get to play, they'll start coming for, like, 15, 20 bucks. And so That'd your backlog nice. just keeps growing. Mm-hmm. So you can play that while the newer games keep coming out. I'm just keep attached yourself. to my PS4. Ooh. You're fine. I'm gonna break it. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm no. Gonna, I'm gonna send I mean, you a the, Fortnite. What's, what's the difference? Thing like, break your console <laughs> graphics and and speed and that's that's pretty much yeah. it. And just yeah. whatever games and more VR capabilities. Yeah. Like if you see the so like the PS like from the 360 like let's take Xbox 360 like the Xbox One yeah it was like a pretty big jump but I feel like where graphics are now going from PS4 to PS5 is not going to be like a giant leap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It might be like compatible with stuff like VR and it's going to be super easy or yeah. like. Like as you said, like frame rate or like whatever, mm-hmm. it'll be it'll run better. But there's gonna be games that look just as good on the PlayStation Four that'll be on the PlayStation Five, like yeah. for sure. I, I guarantee that shit. 
Yeah. But I don't know. I don't. We'll see. We'll see what they come out with. Very bright. Oh yeah, dude. It's, I'm excited for E3 this year. Even though E3 is probably dead. I just want to see what Microsoft's got because it's their turn. Everyone had their turn of like, we are here. We have this console and it's amazing. PS4, Halo, the Switch. Now it's Xbox. We cancel all these great Japanese studio games, but hey, we're, we're re-upping hard. <laughs> yeah. Microsoft. <laughs> they, I, dude, I don't know. It's Microsoft. Like, if they wanted to, I feel like they could run the table. They just like keep making bad decisions Slip as far as ups. games go. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Because they like that that Game Pass thing, dude. That, oh, mm. yeah, it's great. Mm, it's beautiful. It's but then they just better. don't. They just don't take advantage of the shit they got. I don't know. They should. They should go after more like original IPs and crap. But they're not going to. At least I don't think so. We'll see. I have no idea. All right. Anything else you guys want to talk about? I'm getting a new camera soon. I'm super excited for it. No one cares. Next. Ooh. I'm kidding. What, what, okay, what kind, okay. Can you even encode 4K? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll take like eight hours to render, but yeah. Far too too, bro. <laughs> I tried to render. I tried to render my my uh, the video the review video, video I'm making. I tried to render it in a higher resolution, and it was yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my it normally would be like okay, oh, render video? uh like fifteen minutes. Okay. Okay, and mm-hmm. and and it was not even like good graphics. Like I just wanted a better resolution to just like fit in and hopefully deal with YouTube's dumbass compression. But like, um, so I like, I like put it up in this high, higher resolution. And normally like when I render a video that's like that, where it's mostly audio and then just pictures, it's like, I don't know, it takes five minutes to get it together. And this one was like hour 30. And I was like, ha, ah, no, nope. um, nope. Nope. Yeah. nope. And my computer was just like, sl- just, just yeah. chugging. That's the type uh-huh. of render you go to sleep over. Oh yeah. And then you wake yeah. up and it doesn't Still finish, it corrupts. And so you're like, oh yay! It stopped at 99. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Greatest fucking thing. worst. I, was, I think I tweeted. I was like, your day doesn't start until Premiere crashes. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Hell. That's why I make sure everything closed. I make sure that my lights are dimmed mm. or some type of shit. I your it. lights are dim. It's like power <laughs> surging. Yeah, dude, I'm just like making sure so it can go as fast as possible with the amount of time that I'm giving it. So yeah, that shit. I don't. I don't fucking blame you. Yeah, I would not. Well, so are you excited to render things for eight goddamn hours with your new camera? No. Oh, I just want a new camera because I want a new camera. It has 1080, it has 4K, it has a bunch of awesome things in it. And with the way you're talking about like Xbox or PlayStation, like the jump between PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, there's like a different version of the camera. There's like a GH4 and a GH5. Mm-hmm. And it's like a little bit of like differences. I'm like, now I really want to get the GH4 instead of getting the GH5 because it's not that big of a difference. Yeah. But it's all semantics. It's all like little. <laughs> it's all little things. Or yeah, it's yeah. all little things. So it won't even matter. But the GH5 is like $1,500 and the GH4 is like $700. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's me geeking out. It's one of those things that as soon as you get it, it's going to feel good in your hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been waiting Fresh for it. I've been wanting a camera for years, like mm. a really good camera for years. And now I'm finally going to get one. Shoot that shoot. slow motion at 96 frames per second. Ooh. <laughs> Real slow motion, too. Yes. Yes. Not that weird ass special effects slow motion. No, <laughs> it <no>. looks choppy. <laughs> you should do in post. But our slow motion, like any slow motion thing, would just look so great because yeah. it's at ninety six frames per second. I can double that in Premiere, and what's ninety six? Ninety six times two. Yeah, so one hundred and ninety two. Yeah, ninety nine hundred ninety two frames per second. Slow motion. That's pretty r- ridiculous. At ten eighty. Can you even see? I don't think we, like human eye can even see that. But you get all those frames, damn. Yeah, it's going to look so crispy. Yeah, it's going to look smooth as fuck, though. And the camera's like eight years old. All right, before we go, I do have a topic that I felt was a little interesting. I wanted to see your guys' opinion Soldier Boy. It. Not Soldier Boy. Kim so, Kardashian. So, Drake. No, I don't care. Cardi B called out the president. Every, who hasn't called out the president? <laughs> Yeah, but I agree with her. I mean, she says she she She's makes like, good points. I don't know what's going on. Here. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> bah, bah. <laughs> um, anyways, continue. no, it was that um, it was that uh, Brian Cranston thing. People, oh yeah. yeah, he's playing a pair. Parapl- he's playing a quadriplegic man, and people are like upset about it. Like mostly the handicapped community. Did you guys see the Trevor Noah thing about it? No, no, I heard he said. I didn't even know people were upset. I thought people just weren't going to see it. 
No, people are upset. Like no. Some dude from France. Apparently, it's yeah, a really good movie. It. It's a really good film. But people are. It's basically kind of the same as like if a if a like a, a non gay person played a gay person, where it's like yeah. you know our thing we're born with is what every movie from the nineties. Yeah, well, it's like the thing we were born with is not like your your costume in a movie, and it's like I don't know. Mm -hmm. I kind of get that, but it's but like I agree because people they. they are experiencing it, they're living it, so yeah. they can voice it as well because we gave everyone a voice now in this generation. And that's, that's true. That's what, that's what Trevor Noah was saying. For good or for was, bad. Yep. He was he was reading a comments or section about it on Twitter or something like that, and this uh, guy who's in a wheelchair who lives, who's paraplegic, I guess, what, what it is, um, he posted a comment, like, not for or against, just kind of stating his own opinion. He's mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm an actor. I've been an actor for years, and this is finally a role that I can see myself playing mm -hmm. and not seeing someone uh, who is, like, who understands, who has lived this, you know, life, mm -hmm. not getting it is kind of disappointing. Yeah. Which is kind of a valid That makes point. sense. Yeah, yeah I give him that. It's like a valid point. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of hard to, like, argue with it, but then at the same time, it kind of, it's the same thing with Ghost in the Shell. It's like, it should be a Japanese actor. Yeah, right? not yeah. Scarlett Johansson. Or the good Japanese actors. Like, where are the actors that can actually, like, fill that role? Yeah. I mean, do we have them? If we don't, then we have to have an actor that can actually study it and actually, like, respect the role. Instead of it being, like, I don't know, some asshole like, Will <laughs> sorry, Will Ferrell. Like, instead of Will Ferrell in that role, I would not take it seriously. No, The fact no, that Brian Cranston is, like, established himself as someone that actually study it. And take it seriously. That's and true. Even Kevin Hart, who's willing to take a role. That's why I, I was even more shocked by the trailer of what the movie was. I was like, I didn't think he would do this type of movie. It was definitely like an older, more mature type of role for him to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I it's was still going to be like corny as fuck. Well, probably. Yeah, well, Kevin Hart's going to be in it. I mean, most likely. But well, people nothing. are saying that it's a really good film. Yeah. Just really. I really heard good. the guy that wrote the screenplay was more upset about it. Because he's like, they stole my movie. <laughs> they took it from me. Really? Yeah. I was like, motherfucker, you sold it. Yeah. <laughs> that's your fault. Dude, that's, what, that's the cutthroat business. You better make a deal and you better yeah. get like, you better put in writing, like I got 20% or some garbage. Like you got to, uh, yeah, that's his fault. It's terrible. I don't know. I thought that was like, it was, it was pretty interesting. Like I, I totally can see where they're coming from. But the mm -hmm. thing is, is like, I feel like it's not out of malicious intent. Yeah. And that's, I don't know. Like I can understand people being upset, but it's not like they were doing it to crap on disabled people. And again, as he said, it's like, it's Brian Cranston of all people. If it was Will Ferrell, I'd be like, okay, he's going to say some dumb shit in improv and it's going to, he's going to look dumb. And he's not my foot. And then, oh, just kidding. Uh, trailer. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, that's bad. But like, yeah, I, I, I could, I could see, but again, I don't know. It comes from people who, I guess we aren't disabled. So mm, we don't know what it's like to feel that way. I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's, it's like, I see it as two things. One, it's, it's, Hollywood is a business. Mm. It's not just for entertainment. Yeah, Basically, for sure. They're trying to make money. They don't care about any of us. Yeah. No. Really, <laughs> it's just to make money off of whatever it is. Yeah. And then two, it's it's the this generation now. It's 2019. Mm. We're more accepting of of you know LGBTQ or something like that. Yeah. And and just people who don't have a voice. It's more the way we're going in terms of you know culturally. Mm. So it's just like what. I don't know who's gonna win, but it, I think it's a good thing for people to bring it up. Yeah. What was that Johnny Knoxville movie, The Ringer? Yeah, and he literally that played on a based on the book, The Ringer, but <laughs> that completely. Could you imagine if that movie came out? Good example. Now? Oh God! No! Oh way. no! So much. Do that be a career ender for Johnny Knoxville? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah! Johnny Knoxville would never be seen again. He never. Yeah, God, God no! Jesus! Mm -hmm. hey, he literally just he he literally did the fucking this on camera yeah. basically yeah. like that's what that was. He's talking like this. Oh my God! It's so but, bad. But then at that time we were like, oh, he's <laughs> so portraying fucking. someone like that. And then also at the same time, it, it worked itself out for what it was. Because the time, I feel like I'm digging myself in a hole. No, you're no, I no, because <laughs> no. it came out in like in like the like mid yeah mid two yeah. thousands. So it was like right at that era where it's like like the two thousand tens is when it started to get to where it is now. Yeah. Back right in two thousand six, it was still kind of like eh, anything kind of goes. At the same time, it was kind of empowering them as well. Those in the the special needs community. Yeah, because there was a I forgot his name, but he was in the movie also. 
because he actually had more songs in the I see pretty ladies everywhere I go, everywhere I go. What? I oh, I gotta look at up. I'm look at the cast. I see pretty. I have. I, I don't think I have any that's idea a, what song that is. It's a song that plays at the end of the movie. It's like in the car. Yeah. What the I fuck? I think it's the guy that goes. You stopped off for ice cream. When the fuck did we get ice cream? Oh, that dude. Yeah, yeah with the glasses, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a, a viral sensation around that time. Yeah, this, yeah it came out in 2005. Jeez. Yeah. It, got, it didn't get... You know what? It got a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. This yeah. is better. The, the Emoji Movie was worse than this, apparently. So. Emoji Movie. Jeez Louise. My, my stepdad actually went out of his way to, to see that movie. Did people realize that's a movie about feelings? Like emotion? <laughs> Text <laughs> feelings? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I just... It's kind of like that thing with the the Kevin Hart's gonna be in a in a right. I think it's Kevin Monopoly Hart. He's a Monopoly money. movie. God, I've been I, hearing. I can't. I've been I'm hearing so... about these board game movies since 2012. Yeah. I'm ready, baby. <laughs> are I'm you? Ready for this I've been hearing like the weirdest movies are finally happening. The Jurassic <laughs> Park movie I heard of back then also like. The dinosaurs were supposed to have like lasers attached to them and shit. So yeah. I think that's actually happening in the next Jurassic Park. Yes. Movie. So I'm like, what the? Fuck? Oh, I can't <laughs> These wait. Are coming to fruition. It's a train wreck. Mm. Kevin Hart's ignorant ass is Mr. Monopoly. What up? This I, is Park Place. I don't. <laughs> that's why I just don't understand. So apparently, like the Battleship movie was apparently pretty good. Oh, okay. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it, but but like, so it could work. But Battleship at least is like okay. There's something there. There's yeah. ships, and it could you could frame it into a war and you like see. new technology. But how the fuck are you gonna do Monopoly? You sunk my battleship. <laughs> <laughs> Our battleship, it's sinking. Here's here's how. D one. Add Ben Stiller. Done. Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson. That dude, that oh god, what's his name? Wes Anderson, make it a Wes Anderson flick. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it could. Starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> oh yeah. And it's just those those Wes Anderson has shots, bright colors, everything. We're here to buy Boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> a Boardwalk. That's, that's one of the most expensive places. You can't Featuring, do that to us. Featuring George Clooney. How can they afford to buy that? So, is it, <laughs> so like, okay, so what do you think the plot's gonna like legit be? Like, how how would you make it into a plot that is gonna be watchable? At least it doesn't have to be good. It starts but watchable. Out, it starts out. Drugs. It starts out with the old Monopoly, the first game. Yeah. Okay. okay and this kid, this kid is playing the old Monopoly. You know, he just you know gets sucked into time. So. 50 years later. I heard the suck part. He, uh, he, he has to play this game with a bunch of real teenagers from this age, okay? And then they all get dropped into this game. To so it's Jumanji, thing. the you Monopoly like, movie? That's fucking Jumanji. That's <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart comes yeah, in. Yeah, Dwayne Johnson, too. <laughs> Where's the conflict? They're just conflict. there. They just have, they're like, oh, I have $5,000. They need Sorry. to survive. <laughs> David Allen Greer, Kevin Hart's Robin the evil Williams, <laughs> David Allen Greer, where the hell has he been? I, <laughs> I would love that. They play Monopoly, but they got sucked into this game <laughs> where the dice rolls are coming to life. They just hear like a barking in the distance, and then you're just a fucking dog. And yeah, like, oh. this metal dog stomping on shit. <laughs> well, let's see. They were able to take the basics of Clue and Hungry Hungry Hippos, the documentary, and made it a real movie. So we could do the same thing with Monopoly. Wait, it's wait, wait, just, wait, wait. You got to back that up. What? Hungry Hippos? I didn't, what? It's That's so a like, movie? No. <laughs> oh, I was going to, I was going to, I was like, you know what? They could do whatever they want then. If they date that into a movie, they could do Monopoly well, as much as so they want. That so much easier. The they went to get the cave, get some treasure. The four Hungry Hippos from the East, uh, like, you got the fire hippo, the wind hippo. That was so Avatar? Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> the fire hippo's attack to the nation of water. <laughs> and so like, just jump, 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 jump in the ships. <laughs> and they're coming to get you. <laughs> so monopolies have to be the same thing of like, they're trying to establish a monopoly, but like, you can't let it happen starring Ben Stiller. As a <laughs> Is he Mr. Monopoly? Of course. You oh. go directly to jail if you go too fast. <laughs> if they could make this to a movie, I will do mushrooms and see it and report on it. Yeah, I kind of. I, I, that is a promise. I, I I can't see the movie being made. I feel like it's gonna get canceled. Like I feel like they're gonna what be like, we we tried no. everything. They can make work. an emoji movie. The Uncharted movies only been in talks since 2010. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. That was even supposed to be a movie. <laughs> it exists as long as people want it to. Did you see that movie that was a literal ripoff of The Last of Us? 
Oh God! What it was, was it called, called like the day, the the days of our lives. Yeah. No, it wasn't that, but it was something. Like, it was something kind of a similar. And the and the this. and the movie poster looks exactly yeah. like the title, like the cover. It For was sure. yeah. Water. It's it was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And then that's a ripoff of what the road. And then that's a ripoff of dancing yeah. with wolves. Or with yes. Wolves or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that are we've talked about. There's a lot of things that are derivative, and, and the yeah. last the last of us is pretty straight up the road. Except yeah. it's a girl instead of a boy. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much the whole thing. But yeah. like, yeah. I don't, dude. I don't know. I'm excited for the Sonic movie. Like I Sonic can't. Movie? Oh like god, have you have you Real seen the posters? Oh toes. my god, Eloy. I don't know. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so. horrible. I, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like the Super Mario Brothers movie. Horrible. Oh god. Yeah. We make that Super Mario. I, want, I still need to see it. I've heard it's ridiculously entertaining. It it's is, not good, but it's, it's entertaining. Shitty, but it's <laughs> it's shitty. I can't. I'm sure. It's shitty. Even when I was young, I hated it. <laughs> uh, don't you love that when you're like young enough, where you feel like you don't understand things, it but then you sucks. know when something's Trash. really bad. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh no. Yeah. It's look. Garbage. It look. No, 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 no so that's one. Yeah, he's gonna be like a little fucking gross. He's thing. like live action. Gross. It looked look like something you want to kick. Oh, God. And then this is my favorite one. That's real, too. Look at his fucking gross ass human cow. legs. He has cow. Yeah, it's really weird. Hell? I don't like it. <laughs> That's why I want to see it. It's like some scary monkey beast just <laughs> running around. It's, coming, it's in a, a chupacabra. Oh, just running around. I can't wait. I can't wait for the Sonic movie. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see that fucking day one. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, I think that's the end of the podcast. We're gonna play some Smash Brothers.